So you do need a chair for today's workout. So go ahead and grab a chair, make sure you have one handy. Um, I have three different ranges of weights. I have heavier, medium, and light. But if you only have one set, you can certainly still do the workout with just one set of weights. All right, for today, we're gonna try our warm up seated as well. Make this a really knee friendly one. So go ahead and sit all the way to the edge of your chair. And we're still gonna start with our arm swings. Just be a little more cautious, be aware of the back of the chair. You don't wanna whack your arms into it. So just twisting side to side, reaching down, maybe patting the hip as you go around just to help loosen up your torso. Beautiful. And then from here, we're going to move on to our arm circles. So nice big arm circles, still sitting on the edge of your chair, making sure you give yourself lots of space. And then go the other way with those arm circles. And then from there, we're going to move on to our elbows. So circling your elbows in one direction. And then the other direction. Then down to your wrists. Go ahead and do those in figure eights. And give your fingers a few squeezes in and out as well. Make sure you're ready for holding on to those dumbbells. From here, you're gonna hold one leg out and go in circles. And then go the other direction. And then switch feet. Go in one direction, holding that leg nice and straight so you're getting a good um, little workout for your hip, making sure it's nice and loose. And then go the other way. From here, you're gonna scoop back in your chair a little bit so you can pick your feet up and you're swinging your legs, waking those knees up, making sure they're nice and loose. Do a couple more forward and back, and then we're gonna just kind of swing them in and out. Like when you're a little kid and you're swinging your feet because your uh, feet don't quite touch the ground. That's what we're going for here. And you're gonna set one foot down, put one out in front of you and rotate your ankle in one direction. And then in the other direction. and then switch sides. And go the other way. All right, now that we've gotten everything good and woken up, we're gonna start off with our, oops, sorry, getting my stopwatch ready, making sure we're ready for one minute. We're gonna start off with our heavier weight for me, it's a 15 today. And we're gonna do a knee raise and then we're gonna move it over to the other leg. So you're getting a little arm workout in the middle, pulling it up towards your chest, but mainly you're working your legs. All right, sitting on the edge of your chair, sitting up nice and tall. Imagine there's a string reaching up from your, the top of your head. It's gonna help you keep that good posture. We got one minute on the clock. Here we go. Lift, bring it up to your chest. Other leg. Nice and steady. Try to lift that knee up as high as you can. Your hands are only on the weight to keep it from rolling. Let your leg do all the lifting there. Keep going, you got it. Remember to keep sitting up nice and tall. 15 seconds to go. Good. 
and time. Beautiful. All right. From here, we're going to grab our, well, you can stay with the heavier weight or you can go down to a medium weight, up to you. You're going to turn to one side and perch like you're doing a lunge. Now, if you want to add a little leg work in, scoot all the way to the edge of your chair so you're supporting yourself with that uh, leg that's hanging down. If that's hard for you, stay with your weight on the seat of the chair and use that to support you. From here, you're gonna lean forward, do a row plus a kickback. We're gonna stay a whole minute on each side. So get ready for this side. Here we go. Row plus kickback. Remember, you can always adjust how much work your legs are doing by either putting more of your weight on the chair or more on that supporting leg. Halfway there. Keep it up. 10 more seconds. And time, beautiful. All right, from there, come to the center, shake it out a little, and then we gotta do the other side. So we're gonna turn the other direction, make sure you have plenty of room. Scoot, again, as far on or off the chair as works for you. It's easier if you sit more on the chair, Harder if you put more emphasis on that leg work. And then we've got one minute on this side. Here we go. Row, let's kick back. Keep your eyes down towards the ground. Keep your head and neck all in a straight line with your spine. and just focus on the arm and back. Halfway done. Keep in mind, you can always adjust. If it gets a little too intense on the legs, scoot more under the chair. If you feel like you're not getting enough work, scoot more off the chair. And time, beautiful. All right, from here, we're gonna move on to our uh, Arnold press. So for our Arnold press, you need a weight in each hand. You can go medium or maybe light, depending on how your arms and chest do. For the Arnold press, you're going to start with a press up, come down, and kind of rotate them in so that your palms face your uh, in towards your face. If that's hard on your shoulders, you can do the same movement without the rotation, but you do get a little more intense shoulder and chest workout if you add that rotation in. All right, we've got one minute on the clock. Here we go. So the press up. The rotate in. Sitting up nice and tall, good control of the weights in all directions. You don't want to let them swing wild. And if you can bring your elbows together in front of you, go for it. Not everybody has that range of motion and that's okay. But if you can, it gives you a little extra back workout. Keep it up, you got it. More than halfway there already. Almost done. Five more seconds. And time, beautiful. Set those down, give your arms a shake. From here, 
we're going to go into our figure eight, work our core a little bit. So scooting all the way to the edge of your chair, you're going to hold your weight in the center of your chest to start. And then you're basically just rowing to either side, making a figure eight in front of you. All right, here we go. One minute. Sort of like doing a Russian twist, just from a chair. You can do this one easily with a kettlebell as well, or even with, with a barbell if you have enough space. Keep it up, you got it. Almost there. And time, beautiful. All right, from here, we've got one more to do in this set. You're gonna need both your weights. You're gonna do a side bend, come up for a bicep curl. Side bend, bicep curl. All right, we've got one minute on the clock. Here we go. The further you lean, the more work your obliques get, but also the harder it is to keep your balance on the chair. So adjust as uh, for what works for you. Try to push a little bit past your edge, but make sure you always stay safe within your range of motion. Keep it up, you got it. Ten more seconds. And time. Perfect. All right. One set down, two more to go. Go grab some water and then we'll be right back. All right, guys. Back to the beginning. First up, we have that weighted knee lift. So bringing the heavier weight back up. Remember that you lift, bring it up to your chest, go to the other leg. All right, we've got one minute on our clock. Here we go. Keep it going. Nice and steady. If you feel like your weight is a little light for this exercise, you can go faster. If you feel like this one is a little hard for you, you can always slow it down. The goal is to fatigue the muscle. So if that's happening for you, you're doing it right. Almost there. And time. All right, set that one off to the side. We're gonna go into our single arm row plus our kickback. So starting on one side, 
We'll do the whole minute on one side. All right, here we go. Row plus kickback. Adjusting how hard your lower body is working by adjusting where you're sitting on the chair. So you can make sure you're giving your back and shoulder the attention they deserve and your tricep, can't forget that. Halfway done. Fifteen more seconds. And time, beautiful. All right, now we gotta go to the other side. From here, same thing. Adjust where you sit on the chair to adjust how much work your lower body is doing. All right, one minute, here we go. Remember to keep breathing the whole time. You don't wanna hold your breath when you're weightlifting. Halfway done. Keep it up. Five more seconds. And time, beautiful. All right, from here, we have our Arnold press. I don't know about you, but my muscles are starting to get a little fatigued. So I'm gonna go down to a lighter weight on this one. The Arnold press can be a little hard on the shoulders so make sure you don't overdo it. One minute on the clock, here we go. Up and then in. And remember, if your shoulders allow it, you wanna rotate your palms in towards your face as you go. You got it. Keep it up. 20 more seconds. Still sitting up nice and tall. Still making sure that you're reaching up through the crown of your head, keeping a good posture. And time, beautiful. All right, next we're gonna to go to our figure eight. You can hold it like you're rowing a kayak or hold the ends of the dumbbell, whatever is more comfortable for you. One minute, here we go. Still sitting nice and strong on the edge of your chair, nice and tall. You can make this one a little easier by keeping your motions a little smaller, focusing more on the torso turn, or you can make it a little harder by making the motions bigger and getting your arms involved as well. You got this, 15 more seconds.
and time. All right, our last one, our side bend plus bicep curl. So you're gonna make sure you have one on your shoulder, bend, bring the other one up. Just like that, one minute, here we go. Keep it up. If your arms are starting to get fatigued, because we have done a lot with our arms today, you can just do the side bends and give your biceps a break. But if your biceps are still going strong, keep that bicep curl in there for a little extra work. And almost there. time. All right, that is it for this round. Grab a drink of water and we got one more. All right, bring it back in for our last round. Back to the knee lift, nice heavy weight there. One minute on the clock, here we go. Remember to lift that knee as high as you can. If you're starting to get fatigued, you may not be as high as it was on the first round, that's okay. If you're still going strong, try to really crunch it up all the way to your chest if you can. Nice and steady. Strength building is not a speed race. Twenty more seconds. The only way to exercise. Yeah. Good job All right, almost there. And time, beautiful. All right, back to our row plus our kickback. Starting on our left side, one minute on the clock, here we go. It's always okay to make adjustments during the exercise. So if you find that maybe you scooted the wrong way on your chair, go ahead and stop and adjust. Halfway there, 30 seconds to go. Fifteen more seconds. You got this. And time, beautiful. All right, now we gotta do the other side. One minute on the clock, here we go. If you find that you're starting to get fatigued and you need to go down to just the row, you can always do that. But if your triceps are still kicking along, go ahead and include that kickback. You're over halfway there.
Almost there. Five more seconds. And time. All right, next one up. We have our Arnold press. One minute on the clock. Here we go. Up and then rotate it in. Focus on squeezing those elbows together as your hands come in towards your face. Nice and steady. 20 more seconds. This will really help us when we do some cactus arms later. And time, beautiful. All right, one more of those figure eights right on the edge of your seat, feet planted firmly. One minute, here we go. Remember if your arms are getting tired, focus on just the turn, let your core do the work. But if you're still going strong, keep that row in there. Almost there. It's nice and breezy here, but I'm still sweating. 15 seconds to go. And time, beautiful. All right, last one, our side bend plus bicep curl. There's my other weight. All right, you can always leave off the bicep curl if your arms are tired. Otherwise, we got one minute, here we go. You can do the same motion, empty hand. If you feel like your muscles are getting fatigued, just top your shoulder so that you're still working the muscles in the same direction. Just make it a slow and controlled movement. Halfway there. Ten more seconds. And time. Beautiful. All right, go grab some water and then we gotta come do our stretch. All right, ready for our final stretch. From your seat, bring your arms up over your head, lean to one side, back to center, lean to the other side, back to center, fold forward, let your hands come down as far as they'll go, maybe to the ground, maybe to your feet or your shins. Let yourself just hang for a moment. 
And then slide yourself right back up. From here, you're gonna take one arm, reach across your uh, body to your opposite leg. Maybe use the back of your chair to help twist a little more. And just get a little stretch through your back, looking over that back shoulder. Back to center, and then we're gonna go to the other side. So hand to opposite knee, turning, looking over that back shoulder. Maybe use the chair to leverage into it a little more if that feels good. And then back to center, put one foot out, reach down. If you can grab that toe, go ahead and grab it. Pull it in just a little bit so you feel a nice stretch through your calf. And release, go to the other side. Same thing, if you can reach that calf, go for it. Pull it in just a little bit till you, or to, if you can reach your toe, pull it in so you feel a stretch through your calf. And then release. Take one arm, bring it across your body. And then release, go to the other side. And then from here, if you have arms on your chair like this, Grab hold of them on either side if your shoulders allow. Then you're gonna lean forward until you feel a nice stretch through your upper back. If that doesn't feel comfortable to you, just work on reaching and bending your elbows. You'll still get a similar stretch through your upper back. And then our last one, grab your hands and flip the palms out, stretch them up over your head and then out in front of you, rounding forward, pulling those shoulder blades apart and then release. All right, you are all done. Great job today.